This is 10 times faster than most of us actually experience broadband today in our homes. And that enables a much greater exchange of information and will enable a whole raft of applications that will drive economy and learning and healthcare and safety in the region. As a rural community, we've had challenges with getting quality broadband services in Terrell County and in Westminster. Uh, that's been a limitation on the kinds of things that businesses and, and residents can do with their internet connection. Internet connectivity is no more a nice to have, it's a have to have resource for businesses and especially small businesses. We don't have the resources that other larger companies have and we need to get to the marketplace. It's all about pipe size, and so you know, just like a garden hose, the bigger the bigger you can get, the more water you can shove through it. Well, the bigger pipe we can get here, the more video, the more texting, the more the more information that we can get from our public you know, to our first responders, and quite frankly, the more information we can get from us out to our public in a time of need. In Maryland, we began uh, the implementation at our La Plata Barrack. And what that means now is as we move forward across the state, we're going to be able to connect our barracks uh, through video conferencing, through the ability to um, uh, send data back and forth uh, much more efficiently with the product that, that's going to be in place now. I don't know what technology is going to bring us with regard to patient evaluation and patient therapeutics, but putting in this very robust technical platform will allow us to adapt these new technologies seamlessly and quickly. It won't be like we have to change the whole infrastructure just to accommodate the new technology, which will take us to the next level for patient care. As many other organizations, we're moving toward wireless very heavily into that type of technology, uh, manning our, our staff with iPads and other type of devices, but it really does pull a lot of bandwidth down. So this will give us the opportunity to continue expanding that for our staff and our customers, and I, I guess the bottom line is to really give great customer service. So I think it's a real win-win for us. The completion of the broadband project, first and foremost, will allow us to address equity and access in K-12 education. We in Baltimore County are always talking about all means all mean going to a digital learning environment for all of our kids. Really giving them 24-7 access to their learning through their curriculum, through a digital device. We can't do that unless the broadband project had actually gone forward. We've got the strength of having more people in the science and technology areas in almost any area in the country. We have the challenge of educating many more people from all kinds of backgrounds, including women, people of color, and others, in these areas. And again, the fact that we're going to have this broad network means that people from any kind of background will have many more opportunities to get the training they need to succeed. We can create virtual classrooms across the state. We can bring in the most advanced educational materials so that our students have uh, this incredible wealth of educational materials. Uh, this network has just enormous potential uh, to advance uh, the quality of education and the economy of Maryland.